Just to let you guys know, we've been trying to get Theo out of here for 30 minutes on the interview, but since pretty much the whole stadium is a fan of Theo, he's hugging, kissing, talking, everyone loves Theo. So we are, we, as far as you, the audience, is blessed to have Theo Haig out here. Thank you so much for being Thank out you, here. Man. Thank you for making me wait 30 minutes, bro. Dude, I'm so your fans, sorry, bro. Dude, your fans love right, you, bro. I wanted to say hi to everyone. No, that's anyone, awesome. Anybody think I was ignoring them? Hey, was, you sorry, I didn't want you to I'm think not bullshitting you. Everyone loves it. I'm not thinking nothing bad, bro, especially something that can beat my ass. Hey, I'm, I'm thinking all the good is, shit. This is not a t-shirt. This is a disclaimer, so just so you know. May be stupid. Yeah, yeah. that explains everything in there. That explains everything. That's why everyone loves them, right? Congratulations on your win, brother. Thanks, I've been man. hearing a lot of good stuff about you, and you've been talking shit about me, too, I hear. What? Daniel said, hey, what's up with that intro that they got on that podcast? You remember they were telling Daniel? No, what podcast? Daniel Compton. What podcast? You were saying, uh, all the new money podcast. You're like, hey, what's up with that intro that they got going? I'll remind you later. Okay, yeah, I don't, I'm sorry, you later. I don't remember He's dropping that. the background. No, okay, don't worry. Yeah, but Daniel was telling us, hey, ask him about that intro. But well, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll fix that later. So... Oh, wait, is that when you forgot uh, Jermaine's last name? That wasn't me. That was Miguel. Correct. Oh, okay. Now you're on. Okay, see? Yeah, there you go. Now we remember. See? Hey, like I... Hey. Maybe stupid. Uh, it, is, it is what it is, man. I got to just walk around the display. No, no, no. Everyone loves this guy. So, so right now, Theo, we've been here a lot of good stuff from your training partners. I'm a follower on your Instagram. Great dude here. What were you thinking in that fight? Let's go from the, from the get-go when you're in the back. What do you think? What's the mindset before you're entering into a, a legit professional MMA fight? Um, honestly, when you're when you're in the back, a lot of it for me is about uh, staying as, as calm as possible and as grounded because you have all this energy inside. Uh -huh. um, and the uh, best thing to do, like the best thing to make you feel good is just like warm up super fucking hard and like get all that energy out. But then you have this big old adrenaline dump and you just gas. So it's kind of a trick to be uh, run Kessler, he always tells us you have to contain. So you have to contain that energy inside of you and release it at the right time. Um, so when I'm in the back, you know, I, I want to get moving, I want to get loose. Um, but I also want to make sure that I'm containing the right amount of energy uh, in order to get the job done that I need to. Correct. So what's your record right now, Theo? 3-0. Uh, 3-0 oh. oh, as a professional. Yeah. And how about as an amateur? What was your record as a the record as an amateur. Uh, okay, he doesn't want to talk it about was, it. It was, and it was one and oh. One and oh, okay. You turned pro that quick? Yeah, well, I mean, so I fought, I debuted at a weird time. I debuted in February of 2020. And then oh, I, wow. And then I kind of, something happened, so I, I, like, didn't fight, like, the next show right away. And then the next show that was going to be there, everything got shut down for two years. Uh-huh. Um, and within that two years, I... Uh, I you just got trained. Got I just ass. trained as much as I could, and like, dude, I mean, I, I spar hard as much as I can, and uh, rounds with guys like you know Andrew Sanchez, Romero Cotton, Tony Johnson, Chuck Campbell. Like, sometimes we go hard with six ounce a six ounce MMA glove. Damn. So I basically had like an amateur career. Just it was just in the gym the whole time. Yeah, yeah. That's this is what savages look like. You might see nice gentlemen. Everyone loves them. But these are savages right here. I respect them. <laughs> bro, stop it, bro. <laughs> That's, see? That's how everyone loves this guy. So as you're walking into the ring, right, you're looking at your opponent, you're thinking about your opponent. What, what's going through your mind at this time? Because people want to know this stuff. Um, well, uh, it's, <clears throat> it's kind of brutal. I mean, like, this guy has to die um, because the war. sooner, you know, the sooner and further he is from consciousness or like about to be via submission or something, uh, or the sooner he's broken, the sooner I am safe. And the more severe I can make that happen, the more convincing the victory is and there will be no contest to are it. You, are you scared at all? And I ask you that because as I, was, I was watching the fight, watching your demeanor, watching him. 
there was a vast contrast as far as your energy and his energy. You had like zero fear. Zero fear where you're walking in, where you're staring across, and when you're fighting, you look so calm. And you look in complete control. It's like you're just driving a car. While there's a man in front of you trying to kill you, you're like this cruise control, controlling everything. That's how smooth you looked in there. I'm not bullshit. Out of all the fucking fights I saw tonight, yours was like the smoothest. I can tell, I can tell this fighter was in full control of the fight. How does that feel when you're in cruise control like that? What's in your mind? It feels great. I mean, the um, don't get me wrong. Like I, I get super fucking scared, but I get scared like two weeks before the fight, three weeks before the fight. I try... I try very hard to really feel everything, uh-huh. to to really acknowledge, you know, the emotions that I'm going that are going on in my head, and um, I don't try to shy away from like, oh no, I'm not scared, like no, I'm not scared of anything, yeah. like no, I'm pretty fucking scared, man. I got to get into a cage, basically damn near <laughs> naked, shitless, and fight yeah. someone who's to fucking kill me. <laughs> but um, people forget I, that part. I think, I think the the more you acknowledge that, leading up to it, when you actually do get in there, you're. Uh, to some degree, okay with it, and you understand the situation, and it's, you obviously still have a lot of nerves and everything, but the energy can be better directed because you've, it's not foreign anymore, like, Expl- you've, you've acknowledged everything beforehand. Explain that kill or be killed mentality. Kill um, or be killed when you're walking in, when you're in there, because you got it, for sure. Well, I mean, I want to, I want to fucking win, and I want to win by any means necessary, I mean, I was I was glad that I could win tonight, but not really hurting him too. Much. Well, I kind of need him in the fucking head, so they kind of did probably hurt a little bit. But like all things considered, I, I didn't you know I didn't do too much damage to him. So no, no, good. it looked like you were complete control. It looked like you just want to dominate him. <laughs> Your grappling was on point. When I'm talking about you had full control, the way I was looking at it is different because you're in the, in the war, right? You're in chaos inside, a controlled chaos from what I saw. But on the outside, we we're like, this guy's. As far as the rapper, I was like, this guy's in full control. This man was in full control of an opponent that was trying to kill him. That is absolutely amazing. So after you get that nice choke, after you finish him off, what is the feeling in your body? Um, I'm <laughs> glad that I didn't dis- disappoint God or my family. Um, I'm glad that I can go home healthy and, uh, you know, not have to be in the hospital and have people wondering about me. I'm glad that uh, as a as a Christian, I can be a good representation of my faith. And um, I'm just, I'm extremely grateful. That, and it's fucking super relieving, man. You're like, holy shit, I don't have to do this anymore. Yeah, at least not for, like, for eight I, weeks. Yeah. Eight weeks that we plan to do. Eight I don't weeks. know. I don't know. We'll see. But I, I don't have to worry about it for at least, at least a week, dude. I'm going to go on vacation. I'm going to drink a milkshake, try not to throw it up because I've been eating healthy for the last eight weeks. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think it's it's just a very uh, I think it's a very relatable song um, to a lot of people. Correct. You know, especially, dude, especially being in the Bay Area. Like, I'm not throwing shade to people that work in tech at all. I think if you love that, that that's amazing. Um, and if that's what you want to do, that's that's awesome, dude. That guy's better got better reflexes than me. Right. Um, if if that's like what you like to do, that's amazing. But but there's so many people who don't want to work in tech and like maybe they like working blue collar jobs or what have you and like they're getting fucking crushed yeah like i i work uh i was working three jobs now i'm just working two just to and i'm you know i'm not complaining at all it is what it is i wouldn't change my life for anything but like i'm barely making a paycheck to paycheck and um mm-hmm. i think that a lot of people are in that same situation and it, it gives comfort to people to know that you're not alone Correct, but I want you I want you to understand something about what that song does and what you are as far as what we see, okay? As we see the MMA fighters, the mixed martial arts, the professionals, the type of man that you are with your faith, your ability that everyone loves you, okay? What we see in you, especially in me, is what the rest of the world needs to be like, especially, you said it, in the Bay Area. Because, hey, you're, you're nice. You guys that are like into computer shit kind of pussies. You are. Okay, you can edit out because I'm, you know, about, like being a man of faith also. You guys are kind of pussies, but if you see a man like this, this is what the world needs to be like. Honorable, respectable, can defend their family. Let me ask you something. If a man has never, man or young man, has never stepped into a gym, never boxed, never grappled, never just never kickboxed anything, what do you recommend them to do if they never ever stepped into a dojo? I think that um, 
just I don't know, like just from from what I know about fighting, it takes very little training to be able right. to fuck the normal person up. Mm -hmm. And it's not about that. Like I think me saying that is saying like you should be able to defend yourself on a bare minimum level. Um, but not just, you know, doing jujitsu or training or whatever. I, I think that you just really have to do something as a man that like makes you develop like really hard character. Um, and I, I just generally don't see that happening through like um, higher Computer education. Computer stuff or education and, that and they're not, they're that not you, training you right. I think that you need to do something where, hard. where either you're fighting against yourself um, wh whether that's like weightlifting, because a lot of bodybuilders are really mentally strong. Whether you're fighting against somebody else, something physically demanding is what you need to challenge yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just something yeah. that that you, you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta develop some kind of character. I agree with you. So that's the word right there. So shout out your your Instagram. We're gonna share you right there, so you get uh, more followers and bring you up. Because you know thanks, what? Man. Because you know why? Because you are the example of what young men need to be. I'm not even bullshitting. This is this is legit. If people I, uh, have more of your character. How much better would our country be? Dude, I, I honestly, I like was before it, my Instagram is just Theo Hag, just my name. I'm real creative. But like before I got, before I got clean, I, I, um, I was like a sorry sack of shit, man. Like I skated growing up and I was, I was actually pretty good. I got sponsored and stuff. I was jumping off roofs and shit, uh -huh. but like I, um, I didn't really develop character until I had to dig myself out of that hole and then started training. Oh, mm -hmm. we got to bounce. Shit. All right, brother, what would you up? Uh...